Hello and welcome to this quick video that'll show you how you can still get infected at least with adware on OS 10. We often think about OS 10 being somewhat immune against malicious software. However, there is still one fundamental vulnerability and that's the user being able to install software. In this particular case, let's assume I'm tired of Safari or I do really need an explorer for a particular website. So what I did here is I searched on Google. Hey, let me download in an explorer for OS 10 and indeed there is a paid ad that comes up here in an explorer so uh, let's click on this and let's download it it's free so okay uh, that's not bad looks like an old version here in explorer 5 but let's see if we can make that work so let me close Safari and then uh, just uh, open this download Internet Explorer of course it comes with a little installer so uh, let's take a look at this installer and yep I know I downloaded this from the internet by the way I do have uh, the default software protections in place here this binary is signed with a valid Apple developer signature so uh, there is no additional warning that comes up here from the operating system let me just uh, go through here okay again in Explorer and it's version 523 Okay, uh, let's go through here. Uh, there is a EULA here that we have. Okay, we're not really going to read it. And um, then there is a Shopper Helper Pro that's going to be installed. And here it's asking me uh, for uh, my password. Well, of course, all software pretty much tries that, but that's this search protect software that's being installed here in addition to Shopper Helper Pro. Now, as soon as we install this search protect software, one thing you'll see is we end up with a different search engine. And well, for example, it wants us to fix Windows errors here on our system. Of course, we are running OS 10, so we don't really have to do this, but we already ended up with like a different search engines. If we would have read the details in the EULA that we just sort of clicked through, it would have actually told us that it makes several modifications to our system. So for example, whenever we get a 404 error, we will end up at this search page and it will also change our default search engines. Well, let's move through here and uh, see what else we got. Clean your Mac. Okay, that's probably a nice thing uh, to be able to clean our Mac. So we accept that as well. And uh, off it goes and it installs Internet Explorer 5. So it's opening this up here, doing all the installation, pretty neat installer. And well, it's checking our Mac. Remember, this is a fresh install. I just literally installed the system about an hour ago. The individual items here don't actually look that terribly bad. I think they're actually real. On the default uninstall, you have a lot of sort of unused lang language files that you have. There aren't a lot of logs to clean yet. I don't think we can really get sort of the easy, let me see if I can get sort of the details here. Um, yep, sure enough, you know, these are default languages that uh, OS 10 installs. Well, let's try to clean it up. Uh, oh, now of course we have to pay. And uh, let's do the purchase now here. Well, $39, uh, that's really a little bit uh, too much. So let's close it. Uh, if we try to close it, it actually goes down to $20, so cuts uh, the price in half again. Well, um, still too much here for me. I'm not uh, going to pay $20 for this. So uh, let me just close all of these windows out here for now and um, see where we end up with here. So let's close all of this. It's really hard to close it. Uh, you have to find all the buttons. And um, well, okay, Internet Explorer evidently got installed. So let's see how Internet Explorer behaves. And let's get rid of all of these install drives here and open up our application folder. Where is our Internet Explorer? Hmm. 
well, didn't really have to seem to have installed it at all uh, this time. Last time I ran this, it actually installed in Explorer, but it was the actual genuine version in Explorer 5 uh, for the old uh, pre OS 10 Mac OS. It would not run on the system, but at least it was a genuine piece of software that it installed. So what we got out of this, lots of adware, but no functioning version of Internet Explorer. If we now go back to our Safari, you know, we are still stuck uh, with this uh, search engines, uh, with this modified search engine with all kinds of weird uh, videos here. Let's see if it gives us some reasonable uh, result here. We search for Internet Storm Center. Yeah, it gives us at least the real result here. Um, but uh, you know, then you'll also occasionally see search, uh, ads being added. In this case, there is luckily no related ad. Let me just search for digital camera, you know, something that I may want to buy. And now, of course, you know, I get uh, more ads here uh, being inserted that lead me directly to stores and then try to get me to buy products and of course uh, the adware makers will get uh, some referral fee out of this well uh, that's really it so uh, with this uh, os 10 still be careful one thing you can do to protect yourself let's go to system preferences here uh, security what you'll see here when we go uh, to generally is here you know the allow downloads from uh, note that I did have to default here. So uh, this was signed by an authentic uh, application developer. The better setting here is to only allow applications from uh, the App Store. So uh, this makes things a little bit safer. Thanks for watching that and uh, that's it for today.